Fucking excellent. All right, let it out. Do another shot. Let's do the same thing. Same thing. Ah, uh, this oh, house look, has been look, cleansed. Look no, just, just bring the camera over here. Just bring it over here really quick. All right, because... hold her up. That's all it is. Hey, yeah. This? How long has this been? What, 15 minutes? 15, 20 minutes? It's amazing what 15, 20 minutes of an actual construction will do for you. Yeah, Welcome back everybody, Clint here today with Classic Firearms. We got KD back with us. How's it going guys? We are out here at Fort Scott, Kansas with the Fort Scott Munitions Group and Battleline Tactical for a couple of day course with rifles and uh, pistols. Yeah. And on top of that, it's being led by Chris Tonto Peranto, who you might recognize from 13 Hours and the entire Benghazi debacle and everything else there. But anyway, Tonto's been kind enough to actually take Katie and instruct her some because what you'll notice in this video is Katie, she's not a bad shot. Mm. But when it comes down to getting down to the pistol, it's something that it takes a lot of work. And what we're gonna be able to see here today is actually a professional walk Katie through the steps and how a new shooter to pistols might be able to learn a couple of things and tighten up that shot group some. So hopefully, Katie's gonna be on target cross, today. Guys. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> that was rough. <laughs> you can tell I've never shot a red dot, guys. Look at the B. Have both eyes open. Put your thumb out. Close your right. Close your left eye. I can't close my left eye. I mean, I can do this. You can't, you can't, she can't, can't close her left eye. No, that's the biggest problem I have. Is like I can't like is physically it, close wait, it. Is it something traumatic happened when I mean, you were I can, a child like, I can or like something? close it, but I can't like hold it shut. All right, then go like this. Yeah. Close, okay. okay. All right. So here. Yes. All right. Is your thumb still on the B or is it off the B? It's off the B. All right. Now go ahead. Mm -hmm. Can you close your right eye or do we have to yeah, cover it? Yeah, I can close my right eye. All right, now close your right eye. Where is the thumb on the B now with your left eye open? No. So basically you are no it. eye dominant. I'm just tell blind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we definitely need a red dot. I think that's the only, we have figured out her problem. She needs a red dot on. The, I might have adjusted it though when I switched. Like, right. you know, like. Don't adjust it. Stay in the same spot. Okay. Close. All right, now close the other eye. Which one is closer to the B where the, your thumb is right on top covering Oof. the B? Is it the right eye or the left eye? The right eye. The right eye is? Yeah. All right, you're fine. All right, so we're, what we're gonna do, what I'm saying is we're gonna use your right eye initially. So we'll get all the grips, all the other fun ones. Your, your steps, let's get your stance right initially. Let's just get it in that little, like we've been doing, you've been watching us all yeah. day, just a good fighting stance, good flex in the legs, squared up the target. All right. Get your grip on your gun. Go ahead and take it out, and you are empty, right? Hold that gun in your offhand, your non non shooting hand. Your non shoot your your non primary shooting hand. <laughs> we don't know. Alright, put your is. put your well put your right hand out like okay. this. I right, just set the gun in top of it. See this little dovetail? Get as far as you can in the top. All right now, go ahead and wrap your fingers around the pistol grip. I keep my thumb my finger indexed on the bottom of the on the uh, bottom of the slide. Okay. Right, and that's how I know where it is. I even don't lay it flat. I actually just keep it. I just, it helps me know where that is. Okay. So it's, all right, so it's right here. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to grip it yet with this thumb. Keep this thumb flagged up here okay. a little bit. Reason being is once we start to grip it with this thumb, this thumb comes into play, that's when we start dropping around. We don't want to monkey grip it. We just want to grip it with our fingers. Okay. All right now, rotate it up. Your offhand, put your fingers at a 45 degree angle. See your thumb? Mm -hmm. My thumb, I'm pointing towards where I want that bullet to go. My thumb is pointing towards the B. Okay. No, at least notionally it is. Mm -hmm. And now I'm gonna, what I say, marry them up. I'm gonna bring them together. I have no space between my hands. You see that? Mm -hmm. I, I'm not here. Right. I'm not here. Mm -hmm. I'm not down here. I married them up. My thumb is laying on top of the other thumb. The reason I did this 45 degree angle with my mm -hmm. fingers is because when I marry them up here in my chest at my, what I call a compressed ready, yeah. my thumb is in the right position. I'm right where I want to shoot. My, my, if I'm going to pull a bullet out of my thumb, it's going to go right where I want it. On my off thumb, it's going to go right where I want it okay. to go. It's going to go in that B box. All right. But I want you to turn them over just so I can see what's going on here. Move this handle forward a little bit more. Move it forward? Yep. You don't want... You don't want your, your the fatty parts of your hand on top of each other. Okay. You just want them linked up like a puzzle piece. You okay. just mash them into a puzzle. Mm -hmm. No gaps. Looks good. All right, now bring it into this little compressor ready here. This is great. Now, as I press out, I'm just gonna press straight out. As you press out, you're starting to see your sights. Mm -hmm. 
Now when I press out to see my sights, I'm starting to start to try to find my front sight post. Now as I get out there, and I press it. Now I'm not going to go full extension. You're not going to lock anything out. We don't lock anything out. We've got a little grip. We've got a little flex in our elbows. It's not a press pull. It's almost like we're wringing out a towel. So the grip is coming here. All right. You see it? So I want you to like, to, like you're wringing out a towel. All right, good. That's excellent. No, it's excellent. All right, now, now we're going to get your sight picture. Okay. All right, so as you're bringing it out, you're starting to see that front sight post. You're going to see your rear sights. You're going to see your front sight. You're going to see the target. Our eyes can only focus on one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. That's it. We, we can't do anything else than that. For training, we focus on that front sight post. We do. So when I'm pressing out, whenever you know, I'm going, I'm thinking in my head, front sight focus, front sight focus, front sight focus. And then I want equal height and equal light from my front sight to my rear sight. What does that mean? Extend out. I gotta use my other hands because I don't have four hands. <laughs> Think of you're kicking a field goal, you know, you know football. Yeah. You're splitting the uprights right down the center. And I want my front sight post and my rear sight aperture. I want it to be equal height. So I'm on the same height. Okay. And I want equal light on both sides. I want the same light to be showing on both sides between that rear side aperture and those front side posts. If we're here a little bit, it doesn't affect us much until we get to about 15 meters. Right. The rounds are gonna go that way. If we're here a little bit, the rounds are gonna go that way. If we're here, the rounds are gonna go down. If they're here, the rounds are gonna go up. So we're trying to get them married up right in the middle. Okay. It's a lot to think about, yeah. but initially we're all, I'm doing front side focus. Right. So when you look down your side, so go ahead and do an extension, press out. This is blurry. This is clear. Mm -hmm. This is blurry. All right, now we're gonna work on your sights. <laughs> close your, you can't close your left eye. Nope. All right, so <laughs> what you're gonna have to do is you're really gonna have to concentrate or just can you squ even squint it a little bit? Not even a little bit. All right, you're just, you're just gonna have to suck it up. <laughs> and you're really gonna have to focus on that front sight. What okay. I'm saying is you really are. Yeah. You're just gonna have to focus on that front sight. Okay. All right, if you have to, what you can do is even blink and you'll be able to pick it up. Okay. Right. What I have to do when I teach new shooters is I don't ever want you to close an eye, okay. but at least to learn how to grab that front side post, I may have you squint it because you're going to be able to see it clear. You're gonna, okay. It's going to be easier to see. In your case, right, you may just have to blink a little bit and focus on that front sight. Yes, sir. And it's just going to get training. You're going to have to go training. Tra Eventually, it's just going to come natural. Natural, I can just look out and I don't have to close both eyes anymore. So go ahead and press out anyway. I want you to do this. Rear sight, front sight, focus here. This is where my focus is. Are you seeing it at all? Are you seeing two or three? Are no, seeing, I'm seeing the front one. You're seeing one? Yeah. We're, that's that's great. That's what we, whoo, that's what I want to hear. And this is where I thought we were going to run into a huge <laughs> obstacle. Right the most progress. That is a made. wow. That's why I asked. I was like, can you please just take a couple minutes? Yeah, because when I try to instruct her, she's like, I'm frustrated. But that, that's the problem, when you, especially when you can't get your dominant eye mm -hmm. into position and you can't squint the eye to get that focus and you just start seeing three different sights. Yeah. If you're only seeing one, we're great. All right, press it out. See one. It's not the circle. It's not the actual middle, the circle that goes in center mass. It's actually the top of that circle that is center mass. Okay. So when they say, put your front sight on center mass, everybody thinks it's that little dot. It's not. It's actually the top of your actual front side post. This is just helps you obtain that front side post. That little tritium in mm -hmm. there, it just helps you see it so you can grab it. You can see it quicker. Right. But the top of this, the top of that front side post is actually what we want center mass. So there's nothing in there. So what I'm saying Correct. is the top of that front side post should be right here. That should be center mass. The dot should not be covering up the beam. Okay. Does that make sense? Now, sights are different. We can adjust. Iron sights on pistols, there are Glocks, you can do it all the time. There are sight tools, is that a SIG? You can yeah. even do it with a SIG. So if we're starting to shoot and you are right in the middle, but you're a little low, well, okay, well now we need to raise our sight up a little bit. And that's just you. All right, so go ahead and still do the press out. When you press out, you see on that dovetail though, now you're losing space. Mm -hmm. You don't want any space. When I have it up on my dovetail here, mm -hmm. I mean, it's fat. There's, I'm making a fatty part of my hand there. There is no okay. gap. It may not affect you on that first shot. It but will a little bit, but the multiple shots, you're not going to be able to do the seven fundamental marksmanship, and that's just managing the recoil is right. what you're doing. Your follow through is what it's called. Part right. of that is managing the recoil. Yes, sir. All right, so press out. That looks good. Widen your stance just a bit, just a tad. Now, I don't want you to go into this isosceles. We, I, no, it's a fighting stance. So. You're right-handed, we're, we're assuming you're right-handed, <laughs> all right? 
I your do right most foot, things right-handed, yeah. Yep, your right foot, the, inst the toe of your right foot should be kind of at the instep, right about right here, all right? Now, get comfortable though. We all are different, we all have different physiology, different biology, different, our bodies are built differently. Just get where you're comfortable. <laughs> it's just don't get too tight because you're losing balance. Right. All right, and don't get too tight this way because you're losing balance. Are you gonna be a more effective shooter this way compared to here or compared to a we? No, I'm not gonna say that, but as we start to do movements and you're seeing this today, being able to be an effective shooter to be able to shoot and move at the same time, you wanna have where you have a happy medium in between. So I want to set you up for success so we can do building blocks and move to the next level where we're not just shooting static. Sure. But let's start you in the correct way. That looks good. All right. Let's go ahead and press back out again. All right. I want you to hold that there. Damn cigs. <laughs> All right. I'll I want you. I'm going to do some dry fires first. Okay. All right. Go ahead and put your finger on the trigger. It makes no difference if this much is on the trigger, this much is on the trigger. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, his fingers are out to here. He'll probably wrap around that trigger eight million times and still be an effective shooter. Tiny Tim, probably put his finger right here. Doesn't make a difference, as long as it's just a slow squeeze. And all I'm thinking in my head when I'm pressing my trigger, I am thinking press, 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 bang. There is no surprise. You should know it going on. Yes, sir. But you're just doing a press, 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 bang. Mm -hmm. Once you do that bang, that's why this thumb's up. This thumb has no play. Just let it go. Now we're gonna pin that trigger to the rear though so we can now manage a reset. We're gonna teach you on the reset. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and press the trigger. Pin it to the rear. I want you to stop. Mm -hmm. Now, just for this drill, for all you out there, I am not telling you to pin your triggers to the rear, you trolls. But for this drill, as we're learning, it is important because we're trying to figure out where her reset is. All right, let it out. That. You won't let it out any more than that. Okay. Reason being is now you're saving all that pre-travel that you had on that first pull. I don't have to mess with that pre-travel anymore. So my second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, whatever shots are gonna be most likely, you've set yourself up for success for more accurate follow-on shots because you've minimized the travel of that trigger press. So that's why where you see guys coming out here and they look like they're shooting fast and they're shooting everywhere, watch their fingers. They're taking it all the way off. We call mm -hmm. it slapping the trigger. Yes. They're not managing that pre-travel. They're taking that pre-travel out and they're taking it out every time. And it takes time. It, you're, you're actually sacrificing a lot of time. So that is what your trigger reset is. So after that first trigger press, boom, I want you to come out till you hear a click mm -hmm. and take another shot. Come out till you hear a click, take another shot, all right? Then we start getting the down and dirty as we're doing that. We'll start to see if you're flinching. If you're doing this with this off thumb, I mm -hmm. see a lot of guys where they think it's this that's causing them to jump to the seven o'clock. It's not, they're doing this with this off thumb because they're not locking it in or just laying it flat. There are some of those idiot savants out there that are just naturals that they can just lay that thumb on there. I am not one of them. <laughs> I am one that does this and I have to fight it. And what I do to fight it is I, a buddy of mine named Daniel Lombard, who's a tremendous pistol shooter at Divide Defense, he said, Chris, you just, I think of locking it into your slide. So what I'm doing is I'm resting it, but I'm locking it, this part of my thumb, mm -hmm. right to there. So it's not going down anymore. It's just resting right there on, on my slide, okay. right? So let's go ahead and shoot a few. Okay. All right, hit like three really good ones. So we can call it and I can say, yeah, we did well. Okay. And then I feel good about myself. So then we can retire like Barry Sanders did at the top of <laughs> the top of your game, man. Fair enough. All right, you don't get, honestly, you don't see a lot of improvement during a class. It's after the class. And the stuff you learn in the class, you go train on your own, that's where you see the improvement. When you come to classes, like even ours or the other classes that you guys hold, we're here to give you building blocks for what to learn on on your own, but you're not gonna improve right that day. You may improve a little bit. The mass improvement comes on your own. You going out and doing it on your own and doing some of the drills that you learn from everybody out there and, and yourself that you'll figure out your own drills. All right, so go ahead, do a good, we're not working on draw strokes, so I'm not worried about that. We're not worried about that. Well, you know what? So we're all good. To. Why don't we put this gun up here where it needs to be in our kitchen. Do you put want to rack it or no? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> all right. I want you to turn over. Grab these little things here where you, that help your fingers from not slipping. Mm -hmm. I want you to let the gun do the thing. Don't try to ride that slide forward. We call it slingshot. Yes. Yeah. Just, just sling it. Let it go. All right. Anytime we try to press that forward for or help move that slide forward, we're impeding the natural action of that slide. And a lot of times we'll induce a malfunction because that round won't seat correctly. 
So just let the gun do its thing. That's why also when the slides lock to the rear, mm -hmm. don't slingshot it, just let the gun do its thing. Let the gun work for you. That's what it's built for. All right, but you got around in the chamber now. Yes, sir. Right, come up to that compressed ready, just right here in the middle. Get a good grip, come up in here. And now I want you to press straight out. I want you to aim at that B box. All right, go ahead and just in your head, front side focus, remember, blurry, clear, blurry, front side focus, and just do a good steady press. Press, 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 and then remember your reset. Don't take a second shot, but remember just to let it out to the reset point. All right. Fucking excellent. All right, let it out. Do another shot. Let's do the same thing. Same thing. Ah, uh -huh. this house <laughs> has been <laughs> cleaned. No, just, just bring the camera over here. Just bring it over here really quick. All right, hold her up. That's all it is. Hey, hey. If we get so wrapped up, one of our this, is how long has this been? What, 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes? But it's amazing what 15, 20 minutes of an actual I'm destruction not, that, will do for the you. The eye dominance makes no difference. I'm getting in my, it would get it, it gets in your head. Mm -hmm. And he'll tell people this. It makes no difference what eye dominance you are. Just focus on that front sight post. Your dominant eye will focus on it. All right, so at the end of all that, yeah. three shots all within that. I mean, this obviously isn't her target. We're just <laughs> standing here for the backdrop. But what that is like, what, three, four inches right there in diameter? So, and you had, I think, one, two, three. So yeah. all in the orange at about seven, seven to eight yards. Yeah. What were your thoughts? I mean, uh, he took a couple minutes with I never you, thought like, that was gonna happen. Yeah, so, and we also found out. <laughs> I was like, well, I was just like, maybe it'll be somewhere in here. Maybe we're lucky we'll get in the gray. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, okay. So another thing to take into consideration too, this whole time, yeah. you thought you're left eye dominant. Yeah, it just turns out that neither eye works correctly, <laughs> dominantly. You're just, you're just. You're just blind. You're just jacked up. <laughs> All right, well, hey, what's cool though is, and like I talked about just for brief, a brief moment, is actually looking at a professional and an instructor-led course, how that can actually help you so much. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna take that same principle, those same fundamentals that you just learned, yeah. and we're gonna start doing that back at our range, yep. and we're gonna incorporate some, some, some drills, mm -hmm. uh, distance, stress, stuff like that. Some of the stuff that we've learned here too throughout this course that Battleline hosted. Yep. And uh, we're gonna have a good time with it. So yeah. good job, man. I'm excited, thanks. Awesome. All right, because he is left eye dominant and he, you know, he calls He's like, people, I'm left eye dominant. Who gives a Cops yeah. are on that front side. Ben, his name is Ben Morgan. He's a tremendous pistol shooter. He didn't, he comes out and teaches that Battleline course too, mm -hmm. one of our best. He is a tremendous instructor. But that's how I learned how to teach the left eye, right eye dominant is because he is. But he also pr proved to me that there really makes no difference. Right. Just focus on that front side post. I think we got it. That, that's solid. <laughs> I think that's pretty f and, that, and you're doing that from seven yards. It's not from three, yeah. that's not from five. She's shooting from seven. So yeah. that's awesome Thank job. You. Nah, so awesome job. <laughs> Woo, that's and even it. you did it with the SIG too. <laughs> <laughs> so look, hey, in, in all fairness, it's a brand new gun. I haven't even really oiled say, it. Say, I give yeah. SIG a lot of shit. But yeah. they make some good. Yeah, that's it's a, a good. It's, a, it's, it's, it's all right. It's not too bad. Now her everyday carry is a Sig, and so I really appreciate you taking the time to practice this oh, uh, yeah. because Honor. now she was relying on me to go back and teach her what I was doing. I'm like, you know what's going to happen is I'm probably going to fall into some of my bad habits and then teach you some of my bad habits. So it's good to get different instruction and it different is. perspective Tons. as well. And that's what yeah. I learned as well. I mean, we had a guy in the course minute that, that couldn't squeeze oh, yeah. his hands. Yeah. Got, Man, that's hard to teach that guy. But it's yeah. good for me because I learned. Right. And learn how to teach. And I learned that guys, even that can't squeeze the gun, all the way, he was shooting lights out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. No, I, I, it's it's an honor just to help. Let me try to help you. Help you. No, help me. It. Help Thank me. Help you. Because it helps me learn how to teach even, try to teach even a little better. Yeah. And you're super nice. So I don't have to be as patient with you. <laughs> with you not so. Right. God, like, holy shit! I just forbid it. No, this guy shoots well. the lights. This fucker can shoot the lights out. <laughs> appreciate no, it. I again, appreciate man. it, guys. Thank you so Good much. Job, Thank man. you. Thanks, and thanks again for helping out. And guys, we got to go do pictures. Let's go take oh, some okay. pictures. All us, all us, min mentors down there, running down there. Good job, guys. Sure. Guys, hey, don't forget. ClassicFarms.com is your one-stop shop for all of your Second Amendment needs, wants, joys, all that type of stuff. What else do we do? Giveaways, guys. Yeah, we Giveaways. give away <laughs> a lot of guns, like a gun a week. So if you want a free gun, or at least an opportunity to win one, head on over to ClassicFarms.com to get those entries. Utilize the code word you see at the bottom of the screen to get yourself a couple hundred extra entries. You can also do what? Like refer some friends? Refer or? friends. Yeah, that's an easy one. Yeah. Yeah. All it takes is an email. Guys, as always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. We'll see you next time at ClassicFarms.com, and we'll see Katie shoot a little bit better next time.